We call upon the government to give its utmost priority to security matters and must take appropriate measures to protect the lives and property of Kenyans. It is rather strange that the attack on Piketoni, which appeared to have been well planned, could have happened without the knowledge of security and intelligent intelligence officers. The continued violence risks tearing the country apart and Kenyans continue to live in perpetual fear after hundreds of people lost their lives in terrorism-related attacks, extrajudicial killings, ethnic conflicts, cattle wrestling, while little has, been, has come from the government to address these concerns. Promises of investigation by the police and uh, commission of inquiries are turning into tunes which Kenyans are tired of listening to. Instead of addressing the emerging security concerns, we are being treated to knee-jerk reactions, where the focus is on harassing innocent people and collective punishment of communities while those who are killing and maiming Kenyans continue with their evil trade. At the same time, we need to be cognizant of the fact that some of these attacks are aimed at planting seeds of discord and animosity among Kenyans and divide the country along ethnic and religious lines. We must stand firm and refuse to fall into these dangerous traps of ethnic and sectarian divide. For decades, Kenyans have lived in harmonious existence and appreciated the diverse ethnic and religious diversity. And we should not allow enemies to tear us apart now.